Christina, flowers are blooming, bees are buzzing, and spring has sprung. Ah, yes, but there is one thing that still desperately needs to be reinvigorated, your house. Absolutely right, which is why Lindsey Granger is looking at three simple ways to refresh your home for spring. And it's our featured story at the top of the list. Ready to put some spring in your home decor? We hit Sweet Salvage, a vintage marketplace where multiple designers curate displays and had owner Kim Rollins walk us through some of the ways the season's hottest theme can rejuvenate your home. I feel like I'm in the Jungle Book movie. What do we call this amazing theme? You nailed it. I'm calling it Jungalo. That's right, this spring we're going on safari. And the first way to incorporate it into your home, bring it back to nature. Whether it's one little plant hanging in a corner or surrounding yourself with all this luscious green, it really brings the space to life. Bring succulents, snake plants, and other greenery that's easy to care for. Then Kim says you can incorporate natural materials in unexpected places like a beaded chandelier. We have these light fixtures that just drape down with the macrame. It's not really your Aunt Edna's <laughs> macrame. We'll continue our trek through the jungalo style with a more down to earth feel. Look at this second beautiful jungalo bungalow. I think it's calming. That's important. When you go home, you don't want all the chaos from your day following you through the door. You still have the plants and the boho type of vibe, but you can create a cozier feel to the style with warmer color tones. You'll see it in beadwork a lot with the macrames. Kim says you also want to play with different textures in these tones. If we're going to make it our own, all we need are our own throw pillows. Let's go, where are they? Toss those textured pillows on a bamboo chair. Right now, have fun with it, play with it, add the greenery, add the fringe. And finally, jungles don't just have to be green. You can create more color by infusing with indigo. Already this one is my favorite because I love indigo. What we're finding is it's also a neutral. She says you can add pops of color like gold, creams, and fuchsia. You'll still see natural elements like driftwood, but the patterns also stand out. A lot of the um, tribal patterns, and you'll find it in the batiks that are out there. And it's all about mixing and matching. With your jeans and my shoes, this is a perfect photo moment. Let's take a seat on this beautiful couch. And we're still in the jungle, so we gotta send them out to break. Welcome to the jungle. Okay. We're cutting through the undergrowth and going wild with different ways to revive our homes for spring on the top of the list. We got fun games. 